uh, from what I understand, you just got out of court in Ross County? Yes, the, the um, commissioner's court, Cherokee County Commissioner's Court. I know, sorry, yeah, not Rusk County. This is Cherokee County, but in Rusk, Texas. It's confusing. So, <laughs> but um, So, yeah, I attended because um, my story later today is about the AEDs that the county approved to purchase. They are going to now purchase 75 AEDs, which is automated external defibrillators, which is a life-saving device used when you know someone is going into cardiac arrest um, things like that and so um, yeah this is something that they are going to purchase using ARPA funds um, and it will cost the county $106,000 in ARPA funds and um, they saw the need because you know just a, an additional life-saving device to have um, not just in they currently have it in um, the courthouse that they have and then two other locations in Jacksonville. So there's only three, but having additional AEDs would help in a moment uh, that is when someone is in life-saving need, you know? And so with that, they're going to be putting it in a lot of locations around the county, a lot of county buildings, but something really interesting is that they're gonna be adding it into the different patrol cars that the sheriff's office uses. So currently I am at the sheriff's office here in Rusk, Texas, um, Cherokee County Sheriff's Office. And so there will be um, 30 AEDs put in the 30 patrol cars. So each and every one. And um, it's, it's good to have in the patrol cars um, because, you know, whenever these deputies go out on a call, you know, they're the first ones there, first responders. And so just having that device can save someone's life in a matter of minutes. So I think that was really cool to, to hear, to have. Um, and they're hoping to have it all in by January 1st, fingers crossed. Uh, it's kind of hopeful is what the uh, human resources director told me, but they're gonna push for it. But um, yeah, that's kind of what I covered today and wanted to update you guys, so. Yeah, absolutely, thanks for updating us. Is it normal for sheriff's uh, vehicles, sheriff's patrol cars to have AEDs or is this kind of one of the first? They obviously didn't have it before. Um, I mean, yeah, usually you hear I AEDs in, <laughs> I was about to say something else. <laughs> they usually have AEDs in, uh, you know, uh, ambulances, EMS cars, but um, yeah, not so normal, I would say, in the patrol cars. But again, something good to have. That's so interesting, Christine. I cannot wait to hear more about this. Where can we learn more? Uh, later tonight, um, on one of our newscasts, I believe maybe the 6 o'clock. If not, maybe the 10. We'll All see. right. A little tease. Maybe the 6, maybe the 10. <laughs> Tune in for both and make That's sure right. that you get uh, the latest out of the Cherokee County Sheriff's Office. Christine, thanks again for calling in. I look forward to learning more. All right. Thanks, Devin.